What's happening? It's been a while since I've done a video. Um, and I'm actually debating on which one I want to do right now. So, trying to decide. All right, we're gonna do this. Uh, I've been kind of wanting to do this one for a while, just for fun, because I kind of like this stuff and I'm assuming other people do too. I have a bunch of signed books and I try to collect signed books when I can. I try to find them. If I have a favorite author, I sometimes uh, track down one and purchase it, depending on the cost, obviously. Uh, like, I got a special one, a Stephen King one for Christmas, so that was pretty cool. Uh, anyways, I try to hang on to them or check books to find uh, signed authors or signed books. So, let's just go through what I got. I think I'm just not going to edit this, so uh, it is what it is. I will probably make a lot of mistakes. Usually, uh, there's hours of editing because I just stumble over my words or I mix stuff up or whatever. Uh, I'm pretty dyslexic, so uh, I do that a lot. <laughs> I have to double, triple, quadruple check my work all the time because uh, I especially do it with numbers. Uh, but um, anyways, and, I, and then I do this. I just ramble about nothing and nonsense. And then I go, why did I do that? And I usually cut it out. So uh, I'm going to not do that today, I guess. So these two shelves right here are all my signed books. I do have other signed things like this Nathan Fillion uh, pop figure. That was a very special one as well. Up here I have uh, Wash from Firefly signed and it's actually signed to Ryan, um, which wasn't me, but the guy who got it, his name was Ryan and I got that one. I got, of course, Ash Williams over here, which you can't see uh, signed. I have Kaylee from Firefly as well, and uh, a couple other uh, miscellaneous things around. Um, so, but I'm just going to focus on the books for you. And some of these, I have uh, the majority of these I've just found uh, out and about. So, um, let's just start over here. And actually, this one I just picked up. It is cold place, cold place for dying. I have, uh, I have read this one already. It's really good. I super enjoyed it. And actually, on the whatnot show that's coming up on the twenty uh, seventh, I believe it is May twenty seventh. Uh, I have a I have the, a cold place for dying sign in that whatnot auction as well. It's a different one than this. This one actually has a second. Uh, story in it called The Love Nest, which I didn't read, and which is why I picked this one up so that I could read The Love Nest um, because I've already read A Cold Place for Dying. But this is signed. I have a lot of Christopher Triana signed stuff. Um, here's Toxic Love. I don't think this one's signed. No, this one's not signed. Uh, the Detained, not signed. Sorry, I had these kind of mixed in there, unfortunately. Uh, here we go. Growing, uh, Growing Dark by Christopher Triana. That one is signed also. Uh, the Ruin Season. And that one is also signed. Uh, the Prettiest Girl in the Grave. Signed. Blood Relations. This one is also signed. Body Art. I don't think this one's signed. This one's not signed. So... Uh, set that one aside or something. I don't know. There you go. Uh, that's not signed. Tom McDonald poetry. And I actually have a couple of signed. That very expensive CD from Tom McDonald. Um, all right. Moving on. I have more. Oh, let's get the Christopher Triana out of the way, I guess. Huh? Also why I edit, because there's lots of stuff that takes place where you could cut it out but i'm not gonna and i definitely don't sing um okay fine evening in hell uh not signed not signed not signed one all right oh no psych signed eh there it is okay 
fooled you. Uh, the Shepherd of the Black Sheep. Signed. They all died screaming, which is next up on my TBR. So I actually should just might as well set this over here. Uh, that sign. Along the River of Flesh. This is the sequel to Along Came the River Man. Which I also have, or Gone to See the River Man, sorry. <laughs> Gone to See the River Man. <laughs> Along, came the river. Along Came the River Man. One sunny, cloudy day. Contradictory. Um, this one's the sequel, Along the River of Flesh. And I have Gone to See the River Man. It's also signed. I also have, which I just finished reading and which is another video uh x boogeyman signed super good if you like christopher triana i this book's freaking awesome um all right full brutal so uh i'm on my fourth triana book currently all have been great so far so i have not a single complaint about anything i've read from triana uh, the 13th Coyote signed. I unfortunately didn't get to get the uh, hardcover special edition, which I wanted, but I didn't get it. This is the sequel, I believe, to 13th Coyote or something along the similar veins of that Ballad of the Were Vixens signed. Okay, that's all my Triana signed. That's it, finally. Uh, I picked this up on Whatnot a long time ago. Um... This is Man Stopper by Douglas Barton. This is an Onyx Horror. And this one is also signed. And it has a, uh, you know, a, a statement to someone to, to Douglas with best wishes, Douglas Barton. This one's uh, signed in 1988. Uh, this one's not technically signed. It is the Lovecraft book. Um, this one's sort of signed by Matt over at Book Pilled. So I hang on to this one. Uh, just as a well wishes uh, on his from his last show that he did um, on whatnot or before he went abroad, I should say. Um, this one is Patrick Rothfuss's The Wise Man's Fear. I have not read any Rothfuss yet. I also picked this up from Matt on, uh, I believe I picked this up from Matt at Book Pilled on one of his whatnot shows. Pretty sure. Uh... out of the way for a second here all right oh oh diddly squat more tom mcdonald signed 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 <laughs> tom mcdonald signed again again and these are just duplicates of CDs that are actually fairly valuable. So uh, Brave and Brave 2, which are not signed, but have some value. And I was going to resell them at some point because I already have the other copies of those. So uh, I also have an, oh, here it is. Let's get the CDs out of the way. I have a signed NF CD. Uh, if you have not heard this album, it's called Hope. It is one of the best albums ever created. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. I have also signed from Otto. Actually, give me a second. See, this is why I edit. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. This is brutal. I'm going to edit, apparently. I guess. Um, I guess. See, I don't think these things through either. I just go for it. I just send it, bud. Just send it. Full send. Oh, here's more Triana. Are these signed? Uh, the Long Shadows of October. Not signed. Uh, this was on my... Going to be on my TBR. Uh, that Night in the Woods by Triana. Not signed also, so... Okay, this is the one I was looking for. That guy, Otto. This is his uh, his book, Rust Colored Rain, which I've been wanting to pick up, but I just haven't got to it yet. Signed by him. There we go. 
So another one that's signed, this one is on my current TBR. I have a stack of like, when I say current TBR, I mean the stack of books that's on my bedside table. <laughs> and I have probably like at any given time, 10 to 15 books sitting there that I'm, that I, I will just, okay, when I'm done with this one, which one do I want? And I'll just go, uh, I feel like that. And I'll start that one. So sometimes I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do this. And then I, I just don't get to it because I pick other things and I distract myself. All right. Check this one out. This is fairly, um, uh, rare to have signed. This is Wes Craven's, um, shot at writing a book fountain society and this one is signed by wes in 1999 so this is kind of a, a great one this i've shown you guys before this is whoop, gauntlet 2 and this is the one that has stephen king's signature in it as well as many others kevin anderson george beam richard chismar uh, I don't know who that is. Ronald Kelly, Stephen King, um, Ellen Koz Kozowski, Charles Lang, um, Stephen Spignesi, William Relling Jr., Rex Miller, Thomas Monteleone, Graham Masterson, Bentley Little. Um, Piers Anthony has a signature in here. Gary Bradner, uh, Michael Collins, Nancy Collins, Rick Atala, um, Carl Wagner, Art Spiegelman, Craig Spector, John Skip, uh, William F. Nolan. Uh, these are all horror, tons of horror authors uh, and, and sci-fi, some of them. And they're all signed in here. So this is like a, a treasure trove of signed awesomeness. And this one, clearly, uh, I try to keep safe because that one's one of my favorites. All right, one of my favorite books. This has stuck with me for so long. I, I absolutely love this book. Uh, it's been, I it grew on me more and more the more I read it, or the more I, I sat and, um, you know, let it let it dwell. But uh, The Cipher by Kathy Koja, signed there on a little uh, insert signature, sticker, stamp, whatever. Super awesome. That was from, I got that from someone who got it at a, uh, a book signing, which is cool. I wish I wish I was able to do that. All right, we have a Robert Block and Andrea Norton. I also got this one from Bookpilled at uh, Matt over at Bookpilled on one of his whatnot auctions. Uh, this one is signed. Um, Doc, uh, Henry Jekyll and Hyde, Andrea Norton, and Robert Block with best wishes. Uh, it looks like one person signed that. So, uh, but maybe it's both. I don't know. I'm going to have to compare the signatures. The handwriting looks very similar, but we'll see. I'll, I'll compare. So it's either Blocker or uh, Norton, but that's pretty cool. I have not read that one. One of my favorite authors. I just love Scalzi. Um, most everything I've read from him, I've loved. There's one book that just absolutely sucks. It's one of the worst books I've ever read. Uh, I hated it, and it was his shot at trying to do fantasy, um, and it, it wasn't really fantasy either, so I don't know. Uh, it, it was the God Engines. I hated that book. Anyways, the rest of his books I love, and um, this one, is this the first one? No, Lock-In. Lock-In's the first one, and this is uh, after Lock-In, so I haven't read this one yet, but I have read Lock-In, and I really enjoyed Lock-In, uh, but signed by Scalzi. So this is a signed first edition uh, that you can pick up at a store. Uh, I also have another Scalzi, so Mallet of Loving Correction. This I have not read, but it's a uh, little selected writings uh, between 2008 and 2012 from Scalzi, uh, which I would like to read at some point. This is a special signed edition and limited to a thousand copies, and this is number 110. So there you go. So I have one of the 1,000 that are in the world. Another Patrick Rothfuss signed copy. This one I actually picked up at a thrift store. or No, excuse me, not at a thrift store. At a Barnes & Noble. On the shelf, just a signed, just said signed copy. And I went ahead and grabbed it. Uh, and I think this is one of his, this is the newest one having to do with the, that, um, 
the King Killer Chronicle series. Uh, I think everybody's been waiting for the final book or another book, and he came out with like a little side quest story. So um, there's that. Uh, Blake Crouch. This is The Last Town. This is the, I believe, the third in the Wayward Pines series. Um, I am going to read those soon as well. Yeah, book three of Wayward Pine series, so signed by Blake Crouch. Uh, I'm also very excited to read one of the other ones. Re not Recurgent, research, whatever that one is. Um, whatever, one of his other really dark matter, dark matter, dark matter. Uh, because there's a TV show coming out, Dark Matter, and it looks really, really freaking good. So I want to read it first and then watch the TV show. So Blake Crouch, one of my absolute favorites of all time. And of course, another signature um, duplicate here by Scalzi. It is Old Man's War. This is probably my favorite book still. Uh, I, I love this book. I just, I, something about his writing, I love. It's just wonderful to me it it suits me perfectly uh so i absolutely love old man's war another sign so i have three scalzi signatures apparently um who knew okay so how many times can i say uh can i say uh enough i read this one also and this is the i believe the only one i have signed um by Thomas Dish. This is Ringtone. And I just read it uh, January or February. So one of the ones I'll I'll talk about when I, I do the uh, whatever recap of what I read uh, list. But here's a Dish signature. Ringtime, sorry. Did I say Ringtone? It's Ringtime if I didn't say it correctly. Um, so there's that. Okay, I also have uh, awakened and uh, I also have I read it I read it so it's buried in here somewhere I, the seek the second and third oh here it is brink okay brink is the second one so I have awakened and brink and both of these are signed by both James Murray and Darren Wearsmouth Wearsmouth uh, if you guys haven't heard of these books or haven't read them so there's those, and they're both. These are both signed. The third one I don't have signed, unfortunately. I just finished the whole series, so uh, there's three of these. Uh, I read this one last year, and I read the other two um, last month and the month before, and I kind of read them back to back because uh, it. This one I really loved, and then I read the next one. I was like, oh, I forgot how much I love this, and I was like, I'm just gonna finish it. So I finished it, and uh, it was it was fantastic. So. Um, if you like anything having to do with horror, uh, sci-fi, alien stuff, I think you'll love them. They're not a blockbuster, like, in the sense of, like, you know, some super intricate, mind-bending, uh, universe of stuff. It's just a fun, it's like a movie. It's like reading a movie. And apparently they're making a, they're pitching for a TV show or movie right now for it. So that'd be kind of cool. I'm excited for it. So... Um, so I have those. Any other ones I read that are signed currently? Eh, I don't think so. I don't think I have any signed ones right there. So I have Chet Williamson, Ash Wednesday, another horror author uh, from back in the day. And this one is signed, I believe. There we go. All right, I have Joe Nesbo, The Kingdom. I haven't read Joe yet. I've been wanting to read um, the Detective Harry Hole series. So there's Joe's signature there. This is uh, 999, uh, New Stories of Horror and Suspense. Ha suspense has lots of guys in it um, in the uh, as authors. And this is right there. At the top corner, that is Tim uh, Powers, right? I believe it's Tim Powers. Let me see. Is it Tim Powers? And uh, there's a Thomas Dish in this one, by the way. So, yeah, Tim Powers 
is who, who signed that one in the top corner. But check this out. I saw the Tim Powers and I didn't even realize, but then I flipped the page and look, Harlan Ellison signed that one. So that's pretty dope. Speaking of Harlan Ellison, um, last year I read all my books from last year up there. Last year I, I read I Have No Mouth and I'm a Scream. That one has a Harlan, that one signed by Harlan Ellison as well. I don't see it, so I'm not going to grab it. But I do have that one, which um, which I will uh, show you guys at some point. So Ender's Shadow, this is the next one actually I want to read uh, because I read Ender's Game and I think this is the next one. And this one, um, I'm pretty sure is like kind of a retelling of the same story from well, one of the other characters' perspectives, as from what I understand. So Ender Shadow, uh, Orson Scott Card, signature there. I also have Cuts by Richard Lehman, which I have not read yet either. And this one is a pretty, pretty awesome shape. And that one is signed as well. I have Borderlands 3. This is edited by Thomas Monteleone. And this one has a few signatures in it as well. So we got all this here. And uh, this one has Thomas Monteleone signed in it, Poppy Z. Bright. Um, these are David Bischoff, I know. Um, Kathy Kojet in there again. So another Kathy. Uh, Ron O'Kelly, Christine Rush, Rush, Whitley Stryber, Bentley Little, um, Elizabeth Massey, Thomas Tessier, Tessier, however you say it. And that's it. So, uh, pretty good collection of signatures there as well. So... Uh, picked this one up at a bookstore. I just grabbed it because uh, it was looked like a fun one to read, and I was going to read it to my wife's uh, students at her classroom at some point. But it is also signed uh, here by Jane, so thought that was cool. So that one uh, haven't haven't got the time to go over there and do that yet. I don't even know who this is. I just found it at a thrift store. Um, Jean O'Neill, Rusting Chickens. I was just going to read it at some point because it sounded kind of wacky. Uh, so why not? Um, this one is also signed. And uh, it's limited as well of 125 of them. This is number 71. Uh, I don't know who this is. I found this at a thrift store also. This is a novel by Monty Schultz called Naughty. I don't know anything about Monty Schultz. I don't know who that is. Um, it says Fantagraphics Books, but this one is signed by Monty Schultz. So if you know who Monty Schultz is, or if this is a good book or something, let me know. One of my favorites that I have, Blood Music, um, signed by Greg Bear. This is uh, definitely a keeper for me. Another one of my favorites, um, uh, one of my favorite authors. I have not read this one yet. So this is called Hunger and Thirst. And uh, it is a limited edition as well. And this one is signed by Richard Matheson there, number 459 out of 500. So um, I'm excited to get to this one at some point. All right, I have Chet Williamson, Figures in the Rain. Apparently this is a fairly rare one. Um, and one of the, uh, one of the, harder to find deals. Uh, this one is also signed by Chet there in 2002. And we're almost there. The Best of Shadows, edited by uh, Charles Grant, excuse me. Charles Grant kind of started the Shadows series and apparently they were to be without monsters and things like that in them. So, uh, and this one is signed by Charles Grant. I don't think there's any other signatures in this one. I think it's just Charles Grant, looks like it. And then there's a list of uh, 
different authors from different of the shadows books by the way lisa tuttle i found out from reading paperbacks from hell that she's the only person to ever turned down a nebula award that's pretty freaking cool uh that's i mean i don't know why she turned it down but um that's very 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 interesting uh so oh i did have i have no mouth and i must scream here so here it is i didn't realize i put it back and uh signed by Harlan at the top there. So this is a pretty, um, this is a pretty valuable one right there. So, uh, one of the, probably one of the rarest ones for me. I have this whole set here of, uh, Blish books from their Corgi and, um, uh, Arrow as well. And, um, this one here, Case of Conscience, which I have read also and uh, I enjoyed is signed by Blish. That's a pretty rare one. So, um, and this one I believe is it's 1973, it looks like. Uh, hard to tell, but that's pretty exciting. Uh, another great one, The Astra by Jack Vance. This one is also signed, obviously, because we're doing the whole showing of signed books thing. So, uh, David Brin. Uh, I think I picked this one up from Matt at Bookpilled as well. And there's Bryn's signature. This is part of a series that is a pretty well-known series. Um, and uh, I have not got to that either. Samuel Delaney, The Einstein Intersection. I picked this one up um, from Bob's books on whatnot. Uh, Samuel Delaney signed here. So uh, if you don't follow Heroin Bob or Bob's books, uh, go check her out and get some awesome stuff i think she had a show today actually chet williamson lowland writer another chet and uh this one i got these all at the same bookstore um this one is also signed all to the same uh, couple <laughs> and a couple more here uh, another kathy koja so the blue mirror by kathy koja sign there have not read it john crowley's the deep I also got this from Bob's books, Heroin Bob. So John Crowley there. And last but not least, as I was doing sales on Whatnot one day, uh, we, I had this one up to be sold. And I'm showing it to everybody and I go, oh crap, that's got a signature. Uh, I got to keep it, sorry. <laughs> so I pulled a dirtbag move and I kept the... Um, I uh, pulled it off the white line and kept it for myself. I'm sorry. Yes, I know. Uh, I failed at life. But um, I really wanted to keep it. So uh, that's, I think, all my signed books. I'm um, kind of looking up there to see if I happen to see any more. And I don't think I see any more. Um, if I remember something, I'll try to throw it in there. But I'm pretty sure that's it. Uh I do, I I do want to find some more Thomas Thomas Dish at some point. Ultimately, I would love to get a copy of Brave Little Toaster signed. Oh man, that would be just awesome. I've been looking for one forever, um, but that's a, that's a that's a dream goal of mine. Um, any anybody uh, out there have any good signed copies that you want to talk about or share? Put it in the comments. Uh, any. Um, any of these that you loved let me know and i'm gonna wrap it up so hope you enjoyed um i guess i'm not editing it so you're, you're gonna be stuck with me rambling and saying uh five thousand times and uh well it is what it is so appreciate you guys i will get some more videos out to you shortly i'm almost finished with the shrinking man by the way and so that book will be complete to watch in audiobook form on the page as well pretty soon all right Peace.